All right, I'm back in Crusader Kings. So if you know your medieval history, you will know that it goes Charlemagne is crowned emperor, the Vikings attack, Otto is crowned emperor, the Crusades begin, and then Satan comes to Earth and brings upon the apocalypse. So for this game, let's start in the Middle Ages and build our way up to the kingdom of Satan on Earth. And for this, I will play as Henry IV. Which is nice, because I'm already an empire. Alright, let's cover the setup. So to start off, I am going to take the intrigue focus, and that should hopefully help me try to join Lucifer's own. Which means hopefully someone will turn up soon and tell us how to serve Satan. I'm also going to get my counsellor and have him fabricate a claim on Venice. And I'm going to set up an antipope, because, um, why not? So, while I'm waiting to hear from Satan, uh, I can win the investiture controversy by beating this pope and putting my own pope in Rome as a vassal. Of course, as emperor, I have quite a big army. This war should be over pretty quick. Cool, I've looted some sort of relic off the pope. Um... The Holy Prepuce. Alright, sounds cool. The foreskin of Jesus Christ, cut and placed in an alabaster box of spikenard oil on the eighth day after his birth. Okay, um, apparently it's the only body part remaining after his ascension into heaven. Um, thanks, I guess. Uh, can I equip this? Huh. Hang on, I swear I wasn't this happy a second ago. Oh, I think the followers of Satan have decided to come into contact with me. If we do not ask questions, why did God make us curious? I've been given a leather pouch by Emir Hissen ad Haidar. Um, hope it's not another foreskin. What if I told you that all you have been taught to believe in is a lie? Oh god, it's not like a holocaust denier, is he? Ooh, I'm going to take the option to be greedy, because I want to be as sinful as possible to best serve Satan. And looks like I've just won this war with the Pope. Oh, and now they're smearing blood all over my walls. Um, sure, I'll carve a pentagram into my arm. So we've won, and now my anti-pope Alexander is sitting in Rome. Um, and we've also gained control of the Apostolic Palace. Let's, um, let's rename this to... Temple of Satan. Oh, and, uh, let's, let's build a torture chamber. Um, Fingerbone of Jesus. I thought only his foreskin was left. Uh, I mean, I'll believe it's real if I get to keep it. Well, it's worth becoming zealous for more bits of Jesus. Uh, so the followers of Satan have sent this woman to come and recruit me. Cool, so they want me to be in a sex ritual? Amazing. And now I'm in. So that means I can start sacrificing my prisoners in the name of Satan, right? Anyway, while I'm able to, I'm just going to invade France. Um... Okay, I really didn't even expect this. France is just surrendering on their own. I mean, <laughs> the, the game's just making the France surrendering jokes itself now. Um, England. Uh, oh, halke casere romanishra, ich on theo there. Where anlecht hapten mid seon weaking as ye fachten. Um, 
Oh no, the Norman invasions didn't happen, and England hasn't learnt to speak English properly. I think I have a solution though. I need to find a Norman guy who's got a claim on England and I'll just put him on the throne. Should be pretty easy. Um, I'm much more powerful than the Anglo-Saxons. Cool, and now we'll put Robert on the throne and they'll be speaking normal English in no time. Boy, cheers bruv for that thing, innit? Excellent. Just as God intended. Proper English. Now, while I was away in England, um, the followers of Satan asked me to desecrate a church. Of course, I'm more than happy to do the bidding of the Prince of Darkness. It is time. Of course we should burn this whole small church to the ground. After returning from the burning church, I notice I seem to have misplaced a large sum of money. Oh shit. Wait, so they get to build a cathedral with it, and I'm becoming charitable? A testament to the piety of its builder. No, I'm not meant to be pious. Oof, this has killed my dark power. Hopefully I can redeem myself to Satan soon. So despite following Satan, I've somehow ended up a model Christian. And look, somehow I've got the body of Jesus Christ. I mean, I know that the Eucharist is like a thing, but still, this seems like a bit excessive. The followers of Satan are asking me to desecrate another church, and I'm, I can't afford to build another cathedral, so no. Uh, so I tried to summon a demon, but looks like I've accidentally trapped him forever. Um, maybe I'm not cut out to serve Satan. And look, now I'm a demon slayer. Uh, it's been a while, and despite trying to serve Satan for all this time, um, I've accidentally become really holy and they made me the Pope. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. It's probably time that I left Lucifer's own. Um, anyway, so I just noticed that while I've been doing that, uh, Satan has actually come down to Earth and is busy beating up the Muslims in the Holy Land. Uh, so I guess since I'm Pope now, I might as well go fight him in the Holy Land. Crusade for Satan Land. Um, some guy has apparently given me a box, and in it is the head of Jesus. Well, I think I know what to do with this. I'm pretty sure that at this point we've got most of Jesus. Now I can finally put all of Jesus back together again. Hi Jesu, do mein Mann, die Veni Exilo. Ecki Jammet Venet is a petty cabot to a semi up here under summers. Alright, so I've gone all Frankenstein, and I've reassembled Jesus to help with this coming crusade. Uh, oh, it turns out Jesus is a Nestorian. That's the one where Jesus has two separate natures, right? In that case, I'll get the divine nature of Jesus to be my chaplain and I'll get the human nature of Jesus to be my marshal. Cool, so because Jesus is my military advisor, I get this modifier here, Jesus gives military advice. All right, let's head to this crusade. <laughs> All right, now I get the claim, like 20 years after I started fabricating it. Sure, 
Jesus and I have finally reached the Holy Land. Now it's time to track down Satan. I've captured Jerusalem, but where even is Satan? Oh, shit, he's attacking Rome. Um, you guys, turn around. I need you back home. Uh, Jesus. Okay, I think I'll make it before Rome falls. I was chasing Satan through the battlefield when Jesus Christ shoved me aside, barking, I'll take this one, my Pope, elegantly swinging the Spear of Destiny. Um, oh yeah, Spear of Destiny. Well, I can't wait for this. Epic will be too small a word for this battle. Cool. That's over, and Satan's been defeated. Now, the human nature of Jesus sits on the throne in Jerusalem. And his divine nature, I mean, I don't know. Here, do you want to be Pope? <laughs> I don't think Jesus should be qualified to be Pope, given that he's not actually Catholic. Oh look, he took the same papal name as me. That's nice. Um, well, at least I finished off Satan. I don't know. I mean, oh, where is my court chaplain? Where'd the divine nature of Jesus go? Um, oh, wait, what? Okay, Jesus converted to Islam. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I mean, I just wanted to kill Satan. Satan. Oh, fuck. I fucked that one up. Oh. Uh, Whatever. I'm gonna join Jesus on the Hajj to Mecca. Whatever. That, that's it. The video's over. Now, if we go back and look at Space Italy, we're not content with simply global domination. No. We're here to conquer the entire galaxy.